Hey everybody, Jasmine Banks here. Okay, so tonight is the opening night of The Dark Knight Rises, and my kids and I are going to go see it at 3.40 a.m. because it's sold out all over the city. There are round-the-clock showings, but I have to say, we did this the last time at 2 a.m., and uh, it was a fun and unique way to see a big film like that. There's a great energy in the crowd. Um, it's not about me getting the Good Mom Award because, quite honestly, I like things that are a little bit different anyway. Um, the only thing is, because I'm in a wheelchair, we have to definitely get to the theater early um, because most times when I go to the theater, the designated seats that are for people in wheelchairs and whoever's with them are taken by someone who's able-bodied and not with someone in a wheelchair. So you always get into that uncomfortable situation where you have to ask them if they wouldn't mind relocating and you're very nice about it. And most often people go, okay, no problem, sorry about that. And every once in a while, more than would be nice, uh, you get people who get very nasty and it turns into a volatile situation. You know, you're trying not to do anything, but they're, they're really not understanding why you need to sit in those seats. So I'm going to explain the whys of uh, wheelchair seating and wheelchair privileges because that's what people like to say to me, but it's a privilege that you didn't even earn. Like, why should you be going to the head of a line? Why should you have special parking? Why should you have special seating? You would think by this point we all know, but you know what? In all fairness to anyone that has not experienced that situation, sometimes there's just a disconnect when you don't know something. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get why. So that's why I want to explain. Theater seating any kind of theater seating. Um, part of it is a safety issue. Um, you cannot be in an aisle because that breaks the fire code right there. And when the lights are out, if people are going to walk up and down, you could get smacked into, someone could fall onto you. Uh, cause I've had this happen when I sat in the aisle a long time ago. Uh, the other thing is it's slanted. So you're not very comfortable because you're kind of leaning forward and straining your neck up. Sometimes you're sliding out of the chair. Um, so they have a flattened out area, and so you can sit comfortably, and the people are next to you, um, and it's all good. And there aren't that many areas, so that's why um, if someone asks you to move, it is your legal right to ask. Legally, they have to move, and so my big suggestion would be if you're going to go early to the theater and pick the seats you want to sit in, I would not choose those because there, there is the possibility someone's going to ask you to move, and you may be left without a seat. When it comes to handicap parking, again, that that's a big part of it is safety. Um, I mean, first of all, the the space is wide because usually someone will have a ramp or a lift, and you want to be able to a get it out in the first place, and b you want to get in and out of the vehicle without another car coming into park and smashing into you. You need enough space to do that. The other thing is. When you're closer to the store, there's less time that you're playing around in traffic trying to walk from point A to point B. Um, because when you're in a wheelchair, you're probably about four feet tall, and the driver may not see you as easily until you're bashing into their front grill. Um, so it's really important that the space is close to the store and that the person that is supposed to use the space is getting the space. So now, as for the question of why should a person in a wheelchair go to the front of a line, it's not a privilege thing at all. It is a safety issue. It's a huge one because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten smacked in the face by a purse, how many cigarettes from an outside line have almost gone into my eye, how many shopping carts have been hitting into me, how many people have stepped on my feet and almost fallen into my lap. So it's a huge safety concern for anybody in a wheelchair. They should not be in a line. It's also a liability issue for the establishment and for the person who accidentally hurts them. So that's why it's important that the person in the wheelchair goes to the head of the line. Whoever's with them should just be with them. And it's, it's not about privilege. It's not about being unfair to anyone else. Um, if anything, the people in the line should feel okay about it because that person isn't going to get it injured and there's not going to be any issues. And that should be the thing that's more important to anyone is a person's safety. Um, so I hope this has helped you guys understand those issues. And if you have any other questions concerning uh, the world of disability or any other thing in life, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you guys again soon.